Nonviolent criminal offenders now have a choice some would call simple due time behind bars or work off the sentence in church. It's an easy choice for me. If I was given the choice of going to jail and paying a heavy fine or just going to church, I'd certainly select church. Operation Restore Our Community, or ROC, begins next week. Baymanette's city judge will give misdemeanor offenders a choice, go to jail and pay a fine, or go to church every Sunday for a year. Police Chief Michael Rowland, who says it costs his department about $75 per inmate per day, says it's no longer about incarceration, but about restoration. Longevity is the key. A 30-day drug program doesn't work. A 30-day alcohol pro program does not work. But long-term programs do work, and we believe that's what will happen here. If offenders elect church, they're allowed to pick the place of worship and must check in weekly with both the pastor and the police department. If the one-year church attendance program is completed successfully, the offender's case will be dismissed. With God, all things are possible. Pastor Robert Gates is just one of 56 North Baldwin County ministers participating in the Rock Initiative. You show me somebody who falls in love with Jesus and I'll show you a person who won't be a problem to society, but that'll be an influence and a help to those around them. Pastor Gates says the ROCK program is a win-win for everybody. Gates says it will cut jail costs, rehabilitate offenders, and give them a chance to truly turn their lives around through faith. It's an opportunity for people who have made some mistakes that can really transform their lives.